time to go over some of the newest features in Blink Comparator. Welcome to SETI Astro. This will be a quick update. Uh, so if you don't have the latest version, go to SETIastro.com under Astro Program, SETI Astro Suite. Version 2.3 is available. Now over the last couple of days, there were um, a number of uh, bug fixes fixed throughout the SETI Astro Suite, but let's go ahead and focus on the, the Blink Comparator. So it was very Spartan before. Um, added a lot of features in here now. So let's uh, go ahead. We can go ahead and select some images. And as before, it's going to do all the preloading up front such that uh, we can blink through rapidly and see what's going on. Now when you click on something, the first thing you'll notice is it's no longer just the, the fixed fit to preview size. You can move it around. You can click fit to preview. You can zoom in. A lot of people were already requesting for zoom in, zoom out. Um, and then if you do have it at a particular zoom level, it'll just stay at that zoom level as you blink around. Another thing that was requested were just some, some buttons to, to help the, the navigation through the selected items. There's also a, a play button so it could automatically just scroll through them. When it makes it to the bottom, it just loops around to the top to, to continuously run the run the video and you can hit pause at any time. Another big thing that uh, was asked was about uh, selecting multiple stuff at once. So now you can just do the normal shift click uh, to highlight like a range or control click to highlight individual ones. Now what that's gonna allow you to do is let's say, uh, we have these two bad ones here. Now, if you right click, you're gonna see uh, more options. We wanna batch flag these items. When you click batch flag, you could put a prefix or a suffix on the, the current file name. So let's say these ones you want bad. You want all the bad ones to start with bad. You don't necessarily wanna delete them. You just wanna have them flagged. You could do that and it's gonna change the file name to bad underscore whatever your file name is and that's the actual file name that's changed that's not just the name in the in the tree box here the other thing you can do is if you have a whole row of bad ones and now you can delete the selected items it's going to ask you know are you sure you want to permanently delete these uh five selective items and then then you can so not only can you flag them via just changing the file name you can just delete a whole batch of them if you want there's also uh, just a rename where you just rename the file if you want. And then a move the selected item. So again, if you have a, a range of them or just one, you can go move selected item and then find a new destination folder and select that folder. And it's gonna move those light frames from the current location to wherever you, wherever you select it. So if you have like a file so if you have a folder dedicated for bad ones that you want to review or something like that, you can go ahead and just move these bad ones, move the selected items to whatever, uh, you know, folder. We have a bad folder here. We're just going to go ahead and put them in the bad folder. The other thing is if you want to look at a different batch of files, there's no, there's no like clear files button, no need, just select a different group of files that's all you got to do it'll it'll clear out the list and it will uh, load up the next ones that you had selected one final thing in a uh, blink comparator sometimes these file names can get like super duper long and they're kind of getting um, cut off you couldn't you couldn't see the whole thing you can drag in the middle now and completely drag these two panes around so if the file names look like this and, and they're all smushed up and you can't see what they are, you could just go ahead and, and drag that out and, and really see what's going on. So I think these are a lot of awesome improvements here in, in the Blink Comparator. It, it really is um, filled out to be a, a, a pretty nice tool here. Like I said, there were, were some bugs that were fixed too. Uh, stuff in What's in My Sky, uh, when you pushed some items from the Perfect Palette Picker up to like Cosmic Clarity, it was erroring in there. So that's all been resolved. And I tried to make the, the height of the box um, small enough that it could fit on a, a 10 by 80 screen and still have room for your taskbar at the bottom in that. So 
Uh, let me know if it doesn't fit in your 1080 screen, uh, but but it should now. Like I said, it was a, a quicker video. Just wanted to get out the, the new Blink Comparator features. Please comment, like, and subscribe.